Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue where your controller is not working while playing the game Armor Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all in the basic step, open up your Steam, click on the Steam option and choose the option settings. From here, click on the option controller and under the settings, external gamepad settings, make sure you only enable that particular controller that you are using. If you are using PlayStation, you turn it on only this one and rest turned off as it is shown right over here. If you are using Xbox controller, turn off PlayStation and turn on the Xbox controller only. Rest controllers must be turned off. After that, close it and next is right click on your game and choose the option properties. Here click on the option controller and under the option override settings from the drop down list Choose the option Disable Steam Input. Once it is done, close it, relaunch the game and hopefully this will fix out the issue of controller not working in Armor Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. If this failed to work out, in next step, I simply suggest you to unplug any external device attached to a system. For example, external keyboard, external mouse, any kind of racing wheel or if you attach more than one controller, make sure you unplug extra controllers from your system to fix out the issue of controller not working in Armor Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. If this also failed, let's proceed with the next step. In next step, I simply suggest you to change the settings of your controller. So open up your Steam and head over to directly settings of your controller. As it is shown right over here. Under the general tab, you will find the option of dead zone. You need to reduce the dead zone to zero. Make sure you choose the option 0 right over here and under the anti dead zone you can increase it up to 7000 once you are done with these two settings and while playing the game you may feel a drift if you feel any drift in assembly you can increase the anti dead zone buffer a little bit so that the drift in assembly will be fixed out and then your controller in game started to play now if this method also failed to work out you need to open up your store in the search bar type Xbox accessories and hit the enter key. You need to install this particular application with the name Xbox accessories. Once installed, hit the open button and at this point of time, it will ask you to go ahead and connect your controller. So connect your Xbox controller and follow the on screen instructions and once instructions are completed, go ahead, launch the game to fix out the issue of controller not working in Armor Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.